of your shirt. Is it stretchy? It is. Is yours? Okay. Guess what that is? Do you know what that material is called? Oh, it's stretchy. It's knit. And if you tried to make um, a pair of jeans out of that, you'd end up with leggings instead of jeans because there's different material. And you have to know what kind of material you need because if you don't, you'll end up making something that doesn't fit. So, um, if you open your notebooks, do you guys have pens? Can you go get a pencil thing? Pencil? Or you can get your um, pencil zipper bag in your desk. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, these are what we're going to practice on the machine to begin with. All right? So turn to a blank page. Pass the circle. Okay? So we're going to write down the types of material. And we'll find out what you want to make. One of the easiest things to make is boxer shorts or sleep pants. So you can have pants to sleep in or run around in. Or, um, and then I also have students that make uh, tote bags, either like this or drawstring or something like that. So there's all kinds of things that are options. But first we have to figure out what you want to do and then what kind of stuff there is. So then we're going to talk about thread. I got your text. I'm driving and I go, oh, okay, well, that's okay. We're not, we're going to sew without thread today. We have to learn how to make the machine go first. All different kinds of threads. If you pick up the wrong kind, it won't work. That's good to know. Yes. You want all-purpose cotton thread for most things. So... All right. And then material you buy can cost you anywhere from $4 to $50, depending on what you want. We don't want to spend $50 on material. Okay. I want you to feel that. What's that feel like? Is it kind of roughy? Okay. I want you to go like this. Go this way and that way. Go all the way up and all the way back. Does it feel different? Okay. Hand your sister a pencil. Okay. I want you to put your hand on here and do like she just did. Go up and down and see what you can do. Does it feel different? Okay. When you go like this, oh, look how smooth it is. Now go back down. And then you can see where it's rough. This is called corduroy. Do you have anything made out of corduroy? Do you know? Usually they make jumpers or dresses or pants. The problem is if you make pants or a dress out of this and go the wrong way, you go to sit down on something that's got, like these chairs, you go, oh, oh, cause you can't scoot back. Cause you got the rough end going one way. So what I'd like for you to do at the top of this page, I want you to write fabric It's F, a, B, R, I, C, fabric. You guys are learning cursive. That's very good. You could print it if you'd rather. R, I, C. R, I, C. So the first one, now I want you to print the rest of these, okay, so that you can put a note. Put number one, put number oh, one. underneath it, somewhere underneath. Good. Now, underneath. what is this one called? Do you remember what I called it? Corduroy. Very good. So how do you think you spell cord? It's a C. Can you use cord? C-O-R-D. Put cord. C O R D O R 
the machine that made this stuff. His last name was Corduroy. Isn't that funny? So I want you to put beside that rough and smooth or just put shiny and smooth or how would you describe this? Kind of smooth and rough at the same time? Okay, just write smooth, rush, rough, um, soft, rough, <laughs> you need to put O Y. Now you can write smooth. S. Either way. Sm. Mm. And then there's two O's. Smooth, like Mooko. And then T H. S M O O T H. It's smooth. O O. O O T H. That's good. Okay, smooth, and then put a little comma right there. Rough. Mm -hmm. Now put rough. This is not the first fabric you ever want to work with because even though it doesn't stretch, or anything like that, you have to make sure you put it the right way on your fabric. All right, we're gonna do one more before we get started. Um, let's do this one. Does that have a smooth and rough? No, is it kind of cute? Okay, <laughs> that's cotton. This is what you want to make most everything out of that when you first start. So put cotton like skip a space and put cotton. C-O-T-T-O-N, like cottontail, bunny cottontail, C-O-T-T-O-N. And then put a smiley face after it because that's the best kind you're gonna get. <laughs> Two teeth. O-N. Okay, now, why don't you look at that thread, and this thread, and this thread, and that thread. I want you to pick them up and feel them, and see what you think the difference is. Okay, I'll pass that one to you, pass that. And what's the difference between those two? Can you feel it? Is this one really, really thin? And is that one not, it's kind of thicker, isn't it? Now compare that thick one to this one. Look at this one. Whoa, let your sister feel that one. Is that really thick? Okay, here's what you need to know. If you buy silk, material this really thin stuff it will break every time you try to go through your cotton it's made for real shiny silky stuff so you don't want to buy it where it says silk what do you think this is for it's really thick isn't it that is used for like bags and purses and things you want really thick okay Generally, you want the kind that says all purpose. I brought these two because this is um, another thick one, not quite as thick, but this is embroidery thread. It goes on those machines that make little designs like on your shirt and stuff. They make those out of this. All right. Feel this material. Stretch it. Play with it. Does it stretch? That's knit. We don't start sewing with this stuff because it stretches. You'll be underneath the machine going like this 
and then you end up with it going that way. We don't want that, do we? No. Every material that you buy, except for corduroy, you want to wash before. So if you buy material, make sure you wash it before we work on it because it'll shrink. Have you ever had something that was brand new and you put it on and, ooh, this feels good? Then mom washes it and you go, it's just a little tight. It's because it doesn't get pre-washed sometimes at the store. Plus there's sizing on them and you don't want to mess with that. Okay. Now, do you like this material? Is that pretty? Okay. Look and s what do you think about that? Put your hand inside there. What's it look like? In between this layer and that layer. Put your hand in there. Can you see your hand? <laughs> Through the holes? You see your fingers? Well, you don't want to make anything out of this that's going to show your body. So usually we put something underneath it, but in this edge, pretty. I've made aprons out of this and all kinds of things, but you don't want to make real clothing out of it, even though it's pretty, unless it's for a little kid. All right, all right, so now let's look at, we've done some fabric. Now we're gonna look at some um, you know, threads we've looked at, whoops. Now we're gonna look at sewing what you need to sew, all right? This is what I did to all my classes. All right, your machine's gonna come up with this. Do you know what this is called? Whoop! You have one. Can you figure out what it's for? It's a bobbin. It goes in the bottom of your machine. We fill it with thread and it goes on the bottom. Then the thread goes on the top and the thread goes like this. Picks it up, picks it up, picks it up, and that's what makes a seam. And we'll work with that later. So you wanna put those back there? Okay. There's screwdrivers, all that you don't need to know. Oh, this is kind of cute. You know what this is? It's for old people that can't see to thread their needles, so I use that a lot. Alright, the other thing. It's really handy to have is a measuring tape. Is that different than a measuring tape that mom or dad uses to measure out something? Okay, this one doesn't retract. It's just like that. So this is how you take your measurements. Because if you're short like me or a pattern, brought this pattern just for example. Okay, if I tried to make those pants the way they were, they would be on the ground across the room from me because I'm so short. So we measure you to make sure that what we make fits. You don't want a pair of pants that are so long you're gonna cut off 10 inches because then you've wasted material. So that's what we measure for. Look at the back of the pattern. Can you see it tells you sizes? And then a small, there is a, um, the body measurements they start with the can you tell what that word is the size and then what are they measuring can you tell what they're measuring what's that say sound it out try this one first that one's easy <laughs> hip that's how big you are around your bottom area okay and then they measure the stomach why would I ne need to measure anything else if I'm just making a pair of pants, right? So what else can we make on here? It shows you. Is there a shirt? What's the difference between that one and that one? Mm. Like Very good. Very good. And then what's that? You know what that is? Apron. Then there's two chef's hats and pants. So that tells you on the back what they make and what size. So that's what's important, right? You know what these are. What are these? Buttons. Kind of, you're right, you're close. Let's, let me show you the front of it. Wait, here's another one, bigger one. Snaps. snaps. You can use snaps for all kinds of things. You can put snaps on bags like this. 
You can put snaps on a apron instead of putting a button on it. Snaps are a whole lot easier to do than, than buttons, but we'll learn how to do buttons too. All right, whoops, what's this? You know what that is? What's in there? Needles. Well, kind of close. Do you know the other word for it? What are these? They're pins. And so we're putting pins in this cushion. So it's called a pin cushion. That's so handy to have. You can have some that go around your wrist. They hurt because if you miss, you go, ow, ow. So I usually um, bring these kinds for people because it's easier to not hurt yourself. And then there's hand sewing needles and we'll have to use those. So there's all kinds of things. If you get a um, beginner sewing kit at Walmart or something, they will have the general supplies that they need. So um, but I'll bring this every time in case we don't have that. Okay. Put that on your finger. <gasps> okay. Good. Now put it on this finger. Is it bigger? Okay, put it on this finger. That's a thimble, and depending upon what you're sewing, you might end up with fingers like mine, because I don't use a thimble very much, so when I'm sewing, I poke myself all the time. So that's to keep you from, when you put the needle through, not getting poked, because it's called a thimble, okay? All right, put those back. So what have we learned about so far? Snaps, thimbles, measuring tapes. Now we're gonna look at kind of scissors. Whoa. These are little snippy scissors and they're good to keep by the machine because you cut threads. If When I taught sewing and my kids didn't have their threads cut, I just handed it back to them. I said, if you don't cut all those little threads, I'm gonna give, I'm not gonna grade it. These are bigger scissors. That's what we use. And if you put your hand inside there, is it different? Okay, guess how you're supposed to hold them. I'm going to lay it down. You pick it up the way you think you should be holding it. Oh, close. Turn it over and see what it feels like. Do it the other way. Put your fingers. Now pick it up. Nope, this way. Put your fingers in there and your thumb in here. Just your fingers here and your thumb. Now pick it up. Does that fit better? Yeah, let your sister do it. They always have a bigger hole and a smaller hole. One for your fingers and one for not. I suggest you get that kind of scissors instead of um, this kind. Because even I sew with these just because it's easier to cut, but for them it's harder. So we just do that, okay? All right. All right, what we're going to do is I want you to use those scissors and cut a piece of this at the very end and we're going to staple it next to your word okay that's corduroy so i want you to cut a little square right there okay very good <laughs> it's harder than you think isn't it are you left-handed no, okay, all right. You wanna try these instead? Try this, see which is easier. Okay, go ahead. Ah, because those are really sharp. They're made to cut. Okay, now go across. Okay, now give them to your sister. I want you to try these scissors and then try the little scissors, okay? And now, just got my stapler out, I thought. No, I didn't. I want you to staple that right by your corduroy. So you go up, put it right here, and we'll put it just like this. Okay, now, put your stapler up here, 
And whoop! <laughs> we got the paper. Which is harder? Is that harder? Now try the other pair. Okay, go ahead. Staple it. Good. Whoops. Did it go out? Oh, we did two papers at once. That's okay. There you go. Now, I want you to look. Oh, wait. Um, is that easier, the little ones? Okay. All right. My granddaughter and her sewing lesson was messing with this. I have a 10-year-old granddaughter who loves to learn to sew, too. Oh, did it not stay? <laughs> All right, so now I want you, while we're trying to get this fixed, to cut a piece of, oh, try the other, here it is, this. I want you to try it with the big scissors and the little scissors and see which is easier. Try your big scissors first, that's it, try those first. See if you can cut a square of that, which is easier. <laughs> that's good. Oh, why do you think that's okay to cut and the other one wasn't? Why was it harder for the other one, do you think? Any idea? Okay, you try that. Okay. Here, I'll staple this for you. Just a second. We'll put it right there. No. The stapler doesn't want to work. It works at all. Well, I may just have to tape them. <laughs> I know what's wrong with that. My three-year-old grandson used it, too. Now see if you can't get that one. Oh my goodness, is that easier to cut? Do you know why? What's the difference in how that feels in the cotton? Any idea? What's it feel, how's it feel different? Is it not as thick? Very good. All right, so you can just lay those in there and maybe tape it later, okay? All right, so last thing I want us to do is um, get out. Oh, look at your machine. That's exciting. Okay. Can you take these papers out? Open your notebook and take those papers out. And we'll get the uh, machine. Oh, what did I tell you this was called? Thread. Well, it's thread, but what's this part? Remember what that, that one was called? It starts with a B. Bobbin. It's a bobbin, and that actually goes in here. So, rather than doing this, I'm going to come on this way. All right, so. Okay. So if you see, there's this thing up here. That's where the big spool of thread goes, okay? And it has this little thing that goes on it, and it holds the thread on, otherwise, you're starting to go like this and the thread will go boom, out like that, all right? And I want you to, let's get this closer, reach around and feel that lever, lift it up, push it, it goes here. Look, Whoop. how does it go? This oh, one, my. oh, this one right here. Push it up <gasps> and lower it. That is the presser foot lifter. Okay, you want to try it? Lift that up and then put it down. Good. This is called the presser foot. To get material in there, you have to lift that up. Otherwise, you can't get material in there. All right, now turn this handle and watch what happens to the needle. Know this one. <gasps> How about that? Do that. Lift it up. 
Turn it, always turn it that way. <gasps> Isn't that cool? Yeah, keep going that way and it'll go down. Keep going. Good job. All right, so I want you to look, when I do it, look right there, okay? Watch what happens to those things underneath there. Where'd they go? Here they come. Down they go. And up they come. Okay, feel those things underneath there. Is it rough? Guess what that does? It pulls the material through there. So it goes like this. Moves it through. All right, I want you to pull that, take that cover off. Okay, that's the bobbin in there. I want you to take that out for me. Okay, keep pulling. <laughs> All right, there's a bobbin. Right now, we're gonna just sew on material on paper so you can get used to it. But this bobbin goes down there and the thread goes there. Okay, now put that back on. How do you think it goes on? <laughs> and push it, you, go, you put it in there and then you push it down. You see the end? <laughs> Turn it over maybe. Turn it up, let's see, I can't see it. Okay, look, let me show you something. Let me show you a trick. See where the bob is showing you how to put the bobbin in? And there's a bump. The bump goes down. And you just slide it over there and push. And then you get it out by pushing that little button. Alright, so I want you to get your piece of paper with the lines. Just the lines. Okay? We'll start. I don't know if it went in or I don't think that piece went under there. Oh. There you go. There. Okay. You're gonna take this piece and you're gonna put it underneath there and you're gonna put this down. Okay, like that. And then you're gonna take this is the presser foot. And I got it wrapped right on there. We're going to sew. And you know how you have to sew? If this is the presser foot, what do you have to use to make it go? Your foot. Your foot, very good, <laughs> very good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put that down there between you. Put, can you put that on the floor? Right on the floor? Wait a minute. Does it go all the way down? Does it reach the floor, Rachel? If it doesn't, we can move this closer. Does it go all the way down? All right, now we're gonna use this chair to sew in. So we'll start with you. And I want you to put your foot on that pedal. All right, now one of the things that we can, whoa, that's cool. All right, now go really, go as slow as you can and hold the paper and let it, try to keep it straight. Oh, the one. Oh, That's fast. <laughs> Let me see. Does this one have the thing on here? Or is it up above? Okay. You want to just learn to drive slow. Okay. <laughs> All right. And you want to try to, don't look there. See where this line is going right between there? Between those two things? Between this foot right here? Just watch here. Don't watch there. And then just use your hand gently to guide it. Go ahead. Ooh, she's scared now. A little bit now. harder. There you go. Keep going. Just a little bit. Good. Good. <laughs> she's scared now. Are we getting off? It's your pink. It's hot. The blue line has to stay in between those two. See how it goes right in the middle? No. Okay, stop. You want the machine to do the work, so watch. I'm just gonna barely, I'll put my little finger on there. Woo! So 
So see if I push really hard, it's gonna wrinkle the paper. All right, let your sister, this is yours. Let your sister try one on hers. Come on over, switch places. All right, it's like driving a car. You gotta be really careful driving. All right, so now what's the first thing we have to do to get that piece of paper to stay there? Do you remember? Yes, very good. All right. It's okay, you're gonna do it. <laughs> you can put your whole finger on it. Just don't go, you know, don't like push this. Lots of pressure. Yeah, you let the you let the foot underneath there, those things dr drive it for you. All right. Uh oh, what are we doing? We're getting oh, off fast. Go this, you want to just make it go. You're the one that's telling it where it's going. The machine isn't doing it. You're doing it. So if we get off like that, don't go, you stupid machine. It's like, uh-oh, I did it. Go ahead. Good. <laughs> uh-oh, there you go. Slow down. Can you, can you test Run. your foot? Don't push so hard. Okay, now move your fingers back. How are we going to stay on the line? Good! That's much better. See? Oh, she's going to go fast now. Uh-oh, what happens? We're getting off. There you go. <laughs> well, don't do it when the needle's down. Because that'll... Okay, now do it. Go ahead. All right. Go to the end. Woo! <laughs> Good job. Good job. Keep going. All right. Now how are we going to get it out of there? But the needle's down, so what do we have to do? Good. Raise it till it gets out of there. All right. Since you're sitting here, you're going to be the first one to reverse. Mm. When you start a seam, if you don't... Um, reverse it this thing it will go like this you'll go oh this feels whoa it'll start ripping because there's nothing you have to lock it it's kind of like gluing it on there so when you start you go real slow and then you push this down go ahead and push that down let me see what you think see it's not hard you don't have to push it hard but you don't no, have to push it just hard. push it down there you go all right now Go ahead and start. Try to go as slow as you can, and then I'll reverse it, and then you can do it again. We're going to reverse all the way down here. Keep going. See, every time you hit it, it goes backwards. Okay, reverse it. Go ahead, push, push it. it down. Push it. Keep going. You don't have to push hard. Okay, now, slow, slow down. down. Slow down. I want you to stay on the line and then try to do that. So this hand's going to do this, and this hand's going to do that, and that foot's going to do that. Slow. Okay, so go ahead and push. I'll get you back on line. No, don't push it. Well, just go ahead and push on the pedal. Slow. I'll get you back. See? All right, slow down. Push the reverse again. Do the reverse again. Do the reverse again. Good, stop. All right, now look at what, whoops. Look at what the paper did. Can you see how it made double, double dots? Move it a little off there, but that's okay. All right, let your sister try. All right, line it up there. Right there. Okay, now what do we have to do first to make it stay there? The thing back there. Push it. The thing back here. Remember, we had to push it down. There you go. Good. All right. Now, don't be scared. Let me turn it over. All right. Go ahead. First, I want you to push this. It doesn't have to be hard. See? All right. So, go ahead and start. So forward. Now, push that down. Hold it down. You have to hold it down. Watch. See? It goes backwards. Okay, push it again. Woo! We're going backwards. Now, just stay on the line. 
keep staying on the line. Oh, reverse. You're doing good with the foot pedal. Okay, go ahead. Go forward. I think we need to reverse again. See, very good. Okay, now when you get down to here, I want you to reverse. Don't reverse till you get down to the end. Stay on the line. Keep it right in there. Okay, keep going. You're okay. Good. Hold it. Hold your paper. <laughs> okay, keep going. You're very good with that foot pedal. Okay, we're getting close to the end. Backstitch, go stop the stitches. Good. All right, now how are we going to get out of there? Very good. Now look at it. See where you reversed? Makes bigger holes because it goes right over that and it stops the stitches. All right, we're going to do something more tricky. Let's get the square piece, the piece with squares. All right, now. The way we sew squares, I'll do the first part and show you. You always want to start in a corner and you go like this. We go, not that fast, but you, when you get to the end and we're going to turn a corner, and you want to leave your needle down. I need to go one more right to get to the corner. We lift this up and we turn it. Do you know why the needle has to be down? If we don't put the needle down, it goes like this. Whomp. And now this dress or this shirt, like this corner, if I didn't have the needle down when I sewed it, it'd be like this. Hello. <laughs> so you always leave the needle down. All right, go to the end. Here's your foot pedal. You get your square ready, good. Keep it on the line. Very good. Very gentle hands. Very good. She's going to be a safe driver. You're going to be a speed demon. <laughs> we'll go out of the driveway and spin gravel. All right, we're getting toward the end. Good. Now, where are we going to stop? Okay, if you can't do it by foot, do it by hand. Okay, you can turn the needle by hand till you get to the corner. So go ahead, move it that, nope, the other way. Okay. See, if you do it, it'll move the paper. Keep going. Because if you go by hand, by foot, it, even though you're a safe driver, you may run off the corner. Let me do it. <laughs> oh, I'm going reverse. <clears throat> Bring it towards you. Okay. All right. Tell me when I'm on the corner. You ready? Tell me when to stop. Is the needle down? Is that what it should be? Okay, lift the presser foot up. The thing behind there, very good. All right, now turn the paper. And then what do we have to do? To make it go again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How are you holding it in place? Yeah, there you go. Always remember to put that back down because you know what'll happen if you don't. All the, <coughs> excuse me, all the threads will get balled up underneath there and it's a mess. How do I know that? Because I've done it. All right, here we go. <laughs> now, just I want you to go halfway down that corner. Here we go. Okay, and then I want you to back stitch. 
Okay, back stitch. Now get your paper out of there. How are we gonna do it? Very good. Your turn, speed demon. <laughs> Where we wanna start? We wanna start right here. So how are you gonna make sure it stays there where you need it? We want to start right at the corner, so where do we need to put that? Right there. Okay. All right. Go for it. Oh, she's trying to be careful now. <laughs> Where's your hand? You got to hold your paper. <laughs> it's going to go like that off the head and into the kitchen. <laughs> Corner. So guess what we have to do to get back to the corner? We're going to back stitch. Okay, so go ahead and back stitch till we get back to the corner. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Go with your foot one more time. Okay, now stop, stop, stop. All right, now I want you to move the, the thing to get to the edge. Okay, like she did. Okay, turn the wheel towards you till you get, turn this wheel towards you till you get to the corner. Okay, and look at it and tell me when you get to the corner. Oh, nope, this way. Let me see if you're there yet. Keep going. <gasps> you're there, put the needle all the way down. Okay, now, how are we gonna turn the paper? Very good, very good, whoa. And turn it. You just turn it very carefully. All right, now what are we gonna to do to make it go again? How do we hold it? There you go. <laughs> Gosh, there's so many steps, aren't there? All right, now I want you to go halfway down here and then back stitch. Nope, not yet. Hold the paper. There you go. There you go, stay on it, you're good. Let me show you a trick. Move your foot back to this bit. Move it back, now go. Can you push it that way? Oh wait, it's turned around. All right, here we go. Now, put your foot so your foot is here. Just your toes are right there. Now try it. Whoa, little gentle toes. I think your legs are longer than your sister so you can push it down faster. All right, stay right on the blue line. Very good. Now what are you gonna do? I want you to do what? Good. All right, we're done. Now how are we gonna get it out of there? Oh, there's something else we need to do. Very, this way. Very good, now is it up? Now take out your paper and see how you did. There's a little wonky right there, but it's okay. See that hole? See that hole right there. See what happened there? Do you remember what went wrong? You had the needle down and you turned the paper and you went, oh, oh. <laughs> So you have to be, this is really good practice, all right? So the last one we're gonna do is a circle. This one, you just have to let it go on its own. You just gently, squares and straights, okay? So you're gonna start, and all I want you to do half of the circle, or a little bit of the circle so you can learn. So how do we do this? What do we have to do first? Line it up, very good. Oh, we're not right on it, are we? Get over there you go Woo! all right now gentle feet and hold it and then just let it go you gotta make sure the line stays in the right place yeah there. so you just want to work real easily with it okay go ahead she's scared now <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, 
Turn your paper. You gotta turn it real slowly. Good. You're gonna work with the paper. Let the, let the thing underneath there move it for you. You're just guiding it. Okay. Oh, that's much better. Move your both hands. Get, get that hand up there so you can move it. Very good. Keep the blue line. Don't look at that. Look at the blue line. Very good. Very good. See? It's not as hard as it looks, is it? All right, back stitch. And stop. Okay, how are we gonna get out of there? Guess whose turn it is. Scooch over here. Now you still have half of a square to practice, more of the circle, and a line left. Okay, now which way are we gonna have to put it? If we go like this, where's it gonna go? This way? Very good. And we wanna make sure it's right underneath there. All right, now how are we gonna keep it there? Good. All right. How are we going to sew? Uh, no? What are we going to do? Don't you have a foot thing to go with? <laughs> there you go. Push on the pedal. Now put your hands, hands there. The All right. Oh, hands. slow down. Go, go. Don't try and go as fast as she does. She's older than you. She's a, <laughs> she's a driving demon. Okay. Go ahead. You want to move it. There you go. Just real, let the paper, let the machine move it for you. You're guiding it. Okay? It doesn't take much. Very good. Very good. All right, now I want you to reverse. Mm -hmm. Push down and sew. There you go. All right, let's stop. How you get your paper out of there? There's one more thing we have to do too. Always turn it towards you. Good. Oh, we did it. All right, so your assignment is to finish your circles, finish your square, and do your other line and back stitch each end of the line okay got that all right the last thing I want you to do is I'm gonna put this in here back in here and we'll put the little thing on top that they had and I'm gonna have you sew on that material just to see what it feels like that it's different okay and then next time I will bring out a pattern for you to sew I'll bring thread and if you want to pick out their material, you can. If not, I've got all kinds of material. My um, sewing group, I teach at a, a shop. And they, I just bring tons of different types of material. And they decide. All right, now watch. This is the way we put this in here. And there's a book, but it also shows you. See these little hookies thing? There? There's a little hook there. See how this tells you? You're going to go like this and snap it like that. You leave it hanging out. And we're going to put this back on. All right. And the other thing that it shows you is how to thread the machine. If you can follow a diagram, and guess what? If you guys learn to sew, guess what you can do? You can help anybody put anything together because you've learned to read a pattern. People don't know how to read patterns, and so they end up asking me to put their toys together or anything because they don't like to read directions. My husband. All right, I want you guys to stand up here and look at this. All right. It, see where it says number one? See one? It tells you to go this way. One. Where's number two? Can you see two? Good. There's a hook there. Where's number three? Okay, see it right there? It goes down this way. What's number four tell you to do? Go up and around. Okay, where's number five? Well, guess what's inside there? That little thing. We hook it underneath there. All right. Then, whoop. 
Then what do we do? Is there a number six? Very good. Okay. And do you see this little hooky thing right here? There's a hook. You go around it. Okay. And there's another hook down here. It just holds your threads. All right. Now we'll just see if Miss Gina can do this with my old eyes. I got my readers and cheaters on. All right. Once you get your thread through there, if you push down on that pedal, now try and pull the thread. Pull this thread just real lightly. Does it move? No. Now watch. Is that easier to move? <laughs> it's because this holds it. It makes it stop. All right, there's a thing in there. A um, little eye. You go through there. have fat fingers and here where's my little snippers I gotta put them away look at these little things whoops <laughs> aren't they cute my husband says I get things just because they're cute so, well yep that's probably true I don't want to break down and use my other thing. <laughs> All right. There's an automatic threader on here, but I don't want to confuse you yet. I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's right here. Um, this thing. So, it's an automatic threader. Do you think you can do this, Mommy? You can try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my I, uh, my machine has on my credit just because I'm old. Seems like the thread's fatter than the... <laughs> <laughs> Good, I don't feel so bad now. Oh, she did it. All right. Thank you. Now, we're going to bring up the bottom thread. You always take your thread. Look here, sweetie. See where that cut is? You want to not leave your thread there. You want to go like this. And then, I want you to move the handle toward us. And watch what happens. Keep going. Keep going. Look, it's all up. Now, wait. That's it. Go back a little bit. Look what happens. We bring up the bottom thread. Can you see it? It comes from the bottom. If we don't have both of these threads, we can't sew. All right? Now, let's get this piece of material. What I want you to do, safe driver, <laughs> okay? I want you to sew on material now. Oops, sorry, honey. I got your arm, didn't I? There you go. We still have to hold it like we did. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. All right, now I want you to stop. I want you to turn this thing this way one time. Okay, now so, and see what it does. Okay, go ahead. All right, now stop again. Do it again. Now watch what happens. Watch what happens to the threads. Go ahead. Is it going back and forth? Okay. Wait a minute, let's go to two and a half. Let's do... Um, let's do this one so you can see it. All right. All right, now I want you to stop, okay? And lift your lever up. Now pull the material out and see what it does. It brings all the thread with it. 
Okay, let's get our little scissors again. And I want you to cut that thread right here. You can cut it right here if you want. Oh, we still have one more. <laughs> They're little, aren't they? There you go. Now I want you to look at what you did. Watch. Open this up. Isn't that strong? Okay, and then look at this stitch. As we change the stitches, it makes them longer and it does different things. All right, your turn. Switch places. All right. How are we going to start it? What do we have to do first? Put it underneath there. Okay. Now what do we need to do before we sew? No, we don't have to do that. What do we have to do? How do you hold it? How do you hold it down? Very good. <laughs> Whoops, get this out of the way. Good. Straighten it out. Good. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Stop. Our top thread, when we cut it, we cut it too short. <laughs> All right. And the other thing, whenever we start sewing, I forgot with these. Mine doesn't do it. Um, you have to hold the threads. Otherwise, it does this. Okay. All right, Mama. Do it again. <laughs> Am I supposed to put it back here too? Yes, if you want. It doesn't really have to, but it does make it straighter. I do too. I do that all the time. I go, okay, my fat finger just pulled it back out. Oh All right. Now what are we going to do? We're going to put this underneath here. And then I want you to do this for me. See those threads right there? When you start sewing, hold on to those. Just put your hand up there and hold those threads right there till you get started. All right, now go. Nope, just push the pedal. Okay, reverse for me. Now you don't have to hold the threads anymore. How do you reverse? You have to hold it down. Good. Now keep going. Alright. Go straight. <laughs> Alright. Now, what I want you to do is um, keep going and then reverse at the end. Keep going and then do two more stitch. Do a couple more stitches then reverse. Oh no, don't reverse. Okay, just sew a little bit more. Stop. Okay, I want you to get your thread out, your machine, your uh, material out of there. How are we going to do it? What else do we need to do? Good. Get it all the way up there. Good. Now pull it out. And then we're going to clip these threads. I keep going over your head, don't I? When I taught, my students had to write their name on the board if they had a question. And or and or raise their hand. They weren't allowed to yell, Miss S, Miss S, Miss S. All right. Now, I want you to pull your stitches, up, like pull it like that way. Pull it this way, pull it hard. Okay, look at the top. Is it stuck? Okay, pull the bottom, see what happens. Uh-oh, what's happening to the threads? Are they getting loose? Because we didn't do what down here? Reverse. Yes, we did back stitch. That's what I want you to see. See the difference between I can't do anything here. 
Well, watch what I can do here. Whoa, it just keeps coming out. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave you this piece of material to practice with. You need to finish those two, the rest of yours, okay? These are little accessories in here. This goes up here for big spools, excuse me, of thread. And we clean out stuff, but also that comes off. Do you know why? You go to sew a sleeve, you wrap it around there, and it just goes as opposed to having to move it and go like this. So we'll work on that because we have to go around pant legs and pajama pants, don't we? All right, so this is a handy dandy little bag in here. <coughs> Seam ripper and 